Welcome back to another session of Demo Mondays. Demo Mondays is a video series where I invite creators and founders of different softwares for Amazon sellers, and I ask them to present their products just like this on the screen. And today my guest is Takeometrics. And Takeometrics is presented by the Director of Partnerships, uh, Jason McGee. Hello, Jason. Hi, Augustus. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I've been looking forward to this. Yes, I'm excited to have you here. Uh, actually, I've heard that Takeometrics is quite a big company. It's not so known, uh, actually, in my, for my audience, so I'm happy to present it. Uh, can you briefly tell how big is your uh, company and... Uh, uh, what, yeah, what solutions do you provide? Yeah, absolutely. Well, so first off, uh, take a metrics. We are uh, headquartered in Boston. Uh, so we Boston in, in Massachusetts in the U S we actually, uh, cover all Amazon marketplaces, uh, most Amazon marketplaces globally, U S uh, Canada, Spain, Italy, Germany, France, UK, and India and more to come as well. So at this time of this recording, we have uh, over 70 employees, probably around 75 or so. Um, and uh, we have thousands of sellers who use our platform. And we are managing over $5 billion of GMV that's running through our platform. I believe that represents, uh, you know, two and a half to three percent of Amazon's total GMV that we're, we're touching. So it's a lot of data to pull from, which helps us you know, do our job better. But I, I know at some point, even just maybe a week from now, when this is uh, you know, when folks are looking at this recording, we may even have more employees. So we, we are growing quite fast. Um, Sharon, I believe the second thing you asked me is uh, what we do, right? Yes. Yeah, so what uh, solutions yeah. do you provide and what we will be talking today? Yeah, absolutely. So Takeometrics, we are a data science company that, uh, that actually uses big data to help Amazon sellers optimize their business for profitability. Uh, we help sellers understand the key metrics of their business, uh, such as you know their business metrics, uh, as well as product level metrics and profitability. And then we use all of this data and funnel it into actioning that and how you advertise on Amazon. So uh, that's what we're going to be taking you through today. And uh, I'll, I'll take you through a few things we'll be covering in, in a deck before we hop into the tool just to provide some context. But yeah, um, we, we're, we're really excited to do this. And, and it's funny because uh, a lot of times, instead of spending a ton of money on, on marketing, we've been really investing in our technology and we have some of the smartest folks in the world who've, who've come together to help build this over the last few years. And uh, yeah, the sellers who use it are, are extremely satisfied and we'll talk more about that, so. And your solutions work in uh, which marketplaces of Amazon? Yeah, so uh, like I said, all North America, US and Canada, um, UK, Spain, Italy, Germany, France, um, India as well. And we're constantly adding more marketplaces as well uh, for, for Amazon and even potentially exploring you know, off Amazon as well. So a lot of exciting things. but. That's something that makes us unique is unique is having that coverage globally. So, and it caters your audience. I know what is it? Forty percent of your audience is outside the U.S. Correct? Uh, yes, I have uh, more or less half U.S., half non-U.S. So it's really a uh, very international audience. So let's jump to the presentation. You have a very short presentation about your solutions, and uh, afterwards we'll follow with a demonstration of your software. Right. Great. Thank you. Great. So let's spend a few minutes going through a few slides just to understand the context, because I think if we just hop right into the solution, uh, some of the context uh, is, is missing. So, uh, so again, our solution is called Take a Metrics Flywheel, which is, which is a retail optimization platform. So it's important for folks to understand our vision. So we use big data to help sellers and brands optimize their business for profitability. So who is our solution built for? Any seller or brand, large or small, who is advertising on Amazon, leveraging sponsored products or sponsored brands, you stand to benefit greatly from our solution. So the features we are gonna to cover today, and again, a lot of folks try and put us into a PPC tool. It's much more robust than that, and we'll get into it. So we're gonna talk, before we, we talk about the, the, the PPC component, I mean, we're gonna talk about business metrics and understanding uh, those metrics and being able to go down to the product level and look at your product level profitability. Then we, we are able to let, automate advertising with price-aware algorithmic bidding eliminate inefficient ad spend and then capitalizing on top performing keywords uh, as well. So uh, what does the data show? Uh, 
sellers who deploy take a metric software see an average revenue growth growth of 34% within the first 60 days while maintaining a consistent ACOS. Uh, sellers, and it's not just about in grow, um, you know, just with ACOS, sometimes they want to lower their ACOS. So that's just one example of what you can, what you can see. Um, this is uh, a testimonial I wanted to share really quickly. Before taking metrics, we were averaging 25K a month in sales. We had go a good grasp on our business other than advertising. Since using Take a Metrics within six months, they've actually, you know, almost tripled their sales to 60 to 5 to 70K. And the main reason has been the use of Take a Metrics. So diving in a bit uh, further here, our core mission is to use data science and machine learning to help sellers be more efficient through advertising. And over the last three years, we've been helping uh, perform this with, with thousands of sellers. And we are part of the Marketplace Developer Council. We have a very good relationship directly with Amazon. So we know about things as they're happening and we then deploy that within our solution. So what is a retail optimization platform? Well, it's not just advertising. Uh, it actually is uh, bringing in inventory, your conversions, uh, your, your levels, et cetera, and then your pricing. We sit at the middle the epicenter of all three of these things. And we're pulling in all this data, not just on the Amazon advertising side, but we're pulling in the MWS data, your product, your sales, your order history, your conversions, organic sales. We're one of the first folks to, to really do this and then provide actions to do with it. So our solution is called Flywheel. The reason why it's called Flywheel is because it all starts with having really good data science and, and, and understanding the data that we're pulling from our, our sellers, the, the context of each seller's uh, account. So if we're able to lower costs, improve advertising, which increases your sales and, and, and drives more uh, reviews and increases your sales rank, it's going to drive more organic traffic, which just gives us more data. The goal of advertising isn't to get advertising revenue, it's to increase your organic uh, traffic and your organic sales as well. So oh, we take a very analytical approach, which is always going to win. We first help sellers understand how their business is performing. And then we take the next step and help them action this with, uh, with uh, how you can leverage this to advertise more optimally and see a better ROI. So the questions we ask is before we talk about advertising, how is your business doing overall from a business metric perspective? Step one. Step two is, okay, now let's review your profitable products and least profitable products and, and which ones are really making you the most money and where, what opportunities exist. Then it goes to advertising. All right, now we understand how you're doing uh, on, on a business and product level. Now let's advertise. So these are some of the questions that we're, we're going to be asking you. Uh, we're not going to go through them. So right before we jump into the tool, it's, Okay, now we understand this information, let's actually start to advertise this. So jumping over into our tool, what you're gonna look at here is this is our home screen. This is the, the epicenter uh, of the take a metric solution. This is mission control, if you will, as well. So within the home screen, uh, you'll see that we're pulling in things that, that you wouldn't expect from somebody who focuses a lot on advertising. We're, we're pulling in estimated gross profit. We're actually pulling in and calculating your Amazon commissions and fulfillment fees, your advertising costs, uh, your, your, your costs uh, you know, for, for storing an FBA, FBA cost of those products as well. We're actually um, pulling in your cost of goods data as well to give you an estimated gross profit. The most, and then we have, and you can set this from whatever date range you want, but the one I want us to really focus on, I wish I had a highlighter here. Actually, there we go, highlight it there. Tacos. We've created a metric called total advertising cost of sale. The reason why this is so important, Augustus, is this actually shows you the relationship between the ad spend and how that drives organic, uh, organic revenue. So what you want to see is a flat tacos or even a decrease in tacos while your organic revenue is going up. This is showing you something that most folks don't calculate or don't know how to. And even if they are, it's a rolling calculation. They have to do it manually. So that's something that we're able to show you something that you really aren't able to, to do on your own without cross-referencing a lot of reports. So what's the formula of tacos? So I'll, I'll hover over it. So it's a percentage calculated by dividing total advertising sales a total, uh, dividing your spend by your total organic sales. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So this actually is showing you, okay, so for, from the money I'm spending on advertising, so ACOS, the problem with ACOS, and if you're chasing an ACOS, is it only shows you how much it's driving your, or your, your, ad say, uh, your ad sales. So it doesn't show you whether you're cannibalizing your organic business, for instance. 
this is the metric that we we are we're really hoping to try and you know bring to the world because this is what matters when we talk to sellers they really wish they had this and if they or even agencies that we work with a lot of them they, they want this metric um so scrolling down in here as well you'll see the sort of panelized approach this is our machine learning acting on on your behalf and then pulling in the relevant points that you need to action so for here we if you need to we need you to set uh max ad cost per sale or, or a specific a cost targets we may need cost of goods uh sold this is just a demo account we wanted to show you one that actually has some prompts in it and then below here this is just a series of quick actions that will populate based on what you should be doing. So we're going to show you, hey, Jason, we're, you're running auto campaigns. We're exploring keywords to use. Let's dump them into a manual campaign. It'll also show you wasted ad spend when, it, when it's here as well if the actions have, haven't been taken or more refined uh, search terms that you should be doubling down on in your manual campaigns as well. And then the beauty here is this flywheel bid change. Um, we are, we, we typically are averaging, you know, tens of thousands, if not more of bid changes per month, uh, you know, per keyword selection per account. So what this means is rather than you spend hours every day going in there and adjusting your, your, your bids uh, on, on the keyword level, we're doing it for you and we do what's called value based bidding. So this isn't rules based. Uh, the problem with rules based solutions is it doesn't take into account, um, your sales price. It doesn't take into account conversion metrics as they go up or down. And it doesn't take into account, you know, updated strategies as well. Um, so I think the way we look at this is we, we are, uh, are like the nest thermostat rather than a traditional thermostat, which only looks at whatever you set it does. We take into account, for instance, the temperature outside or whether you're, you're in the house or not. This is how we actually go down on a, a deeper, more ingrained level. So, this is your business metrics that you should focus on number one. The second funnel is, all right, now that we understand your business metrics and whether you're profitable in this relationship between ad spending and organic revenue, let's look at the, this, the product level and look at your profitability. So on this product metrics page, where you're pulling in on uh, a parent and child uh, SKU level, uh, what your total sales are, what your, what your gross margin is, what your gross profit is, units sold, ad sales, ad spend, and then, uh, just as equally importantly, what campaigns this is tied to. So this allows you to do a few things. If you see that you have a very good margin, um, but for some, and you can even set, uh, you know, margin even by, by time frame or, you know, margin percentages as well. But what this allows you to do is a few things. You could identify products that you should be advertising that you're not. You can identify products that have a lot of sales, but maybe their gross margin isn't good or the opposite. You have a great margin, but no sales. So you should be focusing on these products. Then most importantly, your gross margin, this should, based on your gross margin and where your product is in the life cycle, uh, whether it's being launched or you're liquidating or you're optimizing for profitability, you should be using this data to action how you set your max advertising cost of sale targets. So you can import cost of goods uh, very easily um, by, you know, by a CSV or, or manually on a per product level. Um, and then diving in here. So now what we just to walk through the funnel business metrics, how's your business performing? Number two, how are you performing on a product level? And then now that we understand this data, let's talk about advertising. This is the bread and butter. And this is where we actually help provide context and value where others fall short. Um, so, you go into our dashboard, we give you the ad metrics, you know, total revenue, total ad revenue, uh, a rolling a cost, uh, wasted ad spend as well, which we'll talk about. You can even see over previous comparable period how the success has been on these metrics. Again, this is a, a demo account that I'm taking you through. We don't want to, you know, obviously show you somebody's account. So, um, so now we've looked at the ad metrics so you can set by any date range. This is where you actually set your max advertising cost per sale. This is the most you're willing to give up uh, to achieve a sale directly from advertising. And this is what we use to then go out and do the, the automated bidding and using these data points. So uh, going on to the next tab, this, is, this then goes into the, the, the automated workflow that we do from an advertising perspective. So number one, 
once you set your, your targets and you have your campaign set up, uh, we also recommend a mirrored campaign structure, which is you run an auto campaign, and for every auto campaign, you run at least one manual campaign associated with it. This is an explore and exploit method. You explore by running auto campaigns, which is essentially allowing Amazon to pull keywords they think are relevant, and then actually testing those for you. Then you're able to ex exploit those keywords and, and drop them into to manual campaigns, which we'll talk about. So step one is if we recognize that we're driving a lot of impressions and clicks based on a, a search term, but it's costing you money because they're not converting. We will tell you, hey, Jason, eliminate these keywords because they're not, just, they're not making you money. Um, the, unless there's a strategic reason you're doing it, such as you want to bid up on a competitor's listing. So that would be negative keywords. Uh, and again, these will all come to the home panel as well. Automatic to manual will be the second set. This is where we, what I just said, we pull and explore all the automatic uh, campaigns and how those keywords are performing. And then we go, hey, Jason, this one's a winner. Augustus, move these keywords to a manual campaign. That way you can have a better ROI because we know that these work. Going one step further, uh, a lot of folks uh, may or may not know that it's when you have a manual campaign, you can set up a broad, a phrase, or an exact match keyword. So an example is a broad phrase, maybe men, uh, boots. Uh, a phrase, maybe men's boots, uh, or an exact is men's boots brown size seven. Uh, the, the more direct you get, the less searching search may be done for that, but the higher it will convert. So what we actually do is we go, hey, we recognize this keyword, it's in phrase. We know we could be making you more money if you also add this as an exact match keyword as well. So you're able to go one step further, and you can make all these changes, or you can, you can select them one by one. It's really up to you. Um, and then obviously we show you, hey, Augustus, here are the keywords that are, are contributing the most uh, in terms of ad revenue and, and ad sales, and what your ACoS is. This is the report you're able to run directly on that. Um, the one last thing I just want to chat before we uh, chat about until, before we go to analytics is it's important that you have a log history, a ledger, if you will, to know specifically when you're making an action, like what was taken and, 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 and why was it done? So an example here is we can show you every single sort of keyword that, that you, you've, uh, you've changed from a negative keyword. We can show you what you've done from an automatic to manual perspective. We can show you what you've done on a target improvement perspective. And most importantly, on bid changes, we are actually showing you why we adjusted a bid on your behalf and the, the science, uh, the data science that went into it as well. So this is extremely important for us to know what's really happening and be able to convey that directly back to the seller. Uh, lastly, uh, having the ability to run custom analytics reports. We have a few such as you know, total sales versus gross margin and how that trends over time, uh, profit versus ad spend, or you can run a custom report as well. So. I know we flew through that and this is unique. Usually it's a dialogue, uh, you know, when we're showing a particular seller it and we can actually pull in their, uh, their uh, metrics as well to show them what's happening within their account. Matter of fact, we'll talk about it, but we're offering. How long does it take to pull the data once it's connected? Now, usually a few hours. Um, so if you, I mean, general rule is if you did, if we just allow you to sync by next day, or if not sooner, we're able to come in and show you specifically how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I know we went through that and it was more one sided than I'd like, but I know Tim on Mondays probably are, are like that to a, to a certain extent and us talking at, uh, to all the viewers at, at home or, or their respective offices or locations, but I yes. think and one of. Uh, one of the feature you show that you can, um, uh, it shows that you, you can change uh, ne uh, keywords from automatic to manual, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So um, you can drop, uh, we can just drop them in a campaign for you. So if you look the right approach, and this is it, like I know some folks, they think of automation and they think, oh, well, there's no human element. I mean, I think that what we call it is we call it human assisted SaaS, which is there are certain things that we're just going to be better at or computers are going to be better at for you which is always working in comp, uh, computing complex mathematical equations that humans aren't good at. There are things where humans actually are able to add the context and the element. Um, you know, an, an example being the negative keywords, a, as we mentioned, or the automatic to, to manual. We want to automate certain things, but we also want to 
boil it down. Essentially what we do is we take what would really take six to 10 hours a week of adjusting bids and downloading reports. Trust me, we know this because before we had the tool, we used to do this manually for our clients. We're boiling it in to about 15 minutes a week for, for, for sellers and brands who are using our tool. Mm, perfect. All right. So um, there is expert services. I see some menus at the very bottom. What does mean yeah. expert services? So people through this dashboard can also order additional consultancy from your company? Yeah, so there's a few things that we do. Um, one, we have an expert launch service, which is a campaign launch, which is you, if you want us to come in and, and, and just build out your campaigns just to get you started in the right way, uh, we can do that for you. Um, I believe it's $250. Uh, um, I believe I don't want to misquote to do that expert campaign launch. We do have a managed service as well. where We'll actually come in and, and, and actually run your account for you. Uh, expert partner services page. This is one is near and dear to my heart. Um, mainly because, you know, I, I'm in the, in the realm of partnerships. Um, one of the very mm -hmm. most important All parts. Right. And, uh, help. We can probably touch help. So I see the help buttons. Yeah. If people need help, how, what's the best way for them to ask question and get the uh, fast result, uh, answer? Yeah. What, what two things. So one of the expert partner services, this is, this is for folks who want help with the solution that we don't provide ourselves. Like if they want listing optimization, if they want logistic support or, you know, something like that, they can get the help directly within our partner services page. Uh, then within the help section, we have a, a really, a really robust help center. Um, that actually will, has all sorts of video guides and, and walkthroughs uh, uh, about whatever, like for instance, uh, setting, setting your ACOS and you want to, to figure out you know, how to understand your ACOS in, in setting it up and the reason, for, here's just one example here. Um, and we can help you, show you exactly how you should be setting up your ACOS. Or if you have an issue with the solution itself, uh, something, you know, if you have a question about what something is, we have an expert chat feature where we have, um, you know, expert support where you can actually chat with us directly via, you know, via a messaging system or, or even email. Um, and then certain clients who have a certain amount of ad spend, we, they actually have a dedicated customer success manager on top of that as well. So there's no, there's no um, shortage of support here uh, at Takeometrics. Yes, I see. And uh, can we cover the pricing now? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this over here, um, and this is our this is our pricing here. So what we've done is we we prefer to do the model, which is we we take a smaller base fee, and we really are earning our keep. And we're gonna if we're helping you perform better and you're spending more in advertising, we we are able to 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 make more. But at the same time, too, if you drop an ad spend, we think it's fair that we come down with you. So. If you think about it this way, it's all based on your monthly advertising spend. So if you're spending less than $15,000 a month in ad spend, it, it would be a 149 base price uh, paid at the beginning of the month. And then in arrears over the previous 30 days, we'll charge 7% of ad spend. Um, then the more you spend with us, like if you spend up to 15K, 15 to 50, you have a higher base fee, but we significantly drop the, the ad spend that we take as well. So, uh, and this is, yeah, this is, um, you're going to see this on our site, uh, you know, very soon by the time this launches as well. And then most importantly, I know we'll talk about it. We're offering everybody that comes across, uh, you know, from, from you, Augustus, in, in your audience, a free trial. We've never launched a free, had a free trial for our flywheel solution. You all are going to be one of the first folks to actually let the world know about this. And we want to get your, your, your folks in the tool, seeing it for themselves. Uh, so that's what I that, as mentioned. We're just going to be giving a free trial to everybody, a part of your your you know your subscriber list. Thanks a lot for this. Uh, how to say concentrated presentation. Uh, your tool looks like really promising. I think uh, a lot of people might be interested to try it out, especially that you're offering a free trial for 30 days. And yeah. uh, what can you promise for future or existing customers? What kind of features are you planning to roll out in the next months, for example, or next year? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there's, this is, uh, there, there are a few things. I mean, number one, Amazon is always adding uh, features a part of their, you know, of their, their advertising program, like product attribution targeting, for instance. 
being on the developer council and having such a good relationship with that, we know when this stuff's happening and we're able to incorporate this in our tool very quickly. So you're going to see whenever Amazon makes a change, including the PAT that we just discussed, we're going to incorporate that within our solution as well. Um, obviously sponsored brands is, is a big one as well. We do a lot with it as well already, but we're just going to continue to enhance this and make the experience a, a, a lot better than our solution. And then again, like be already being live uh, in those regions and being able to help support sellers. Uh, that's a very, very big, uh, you know, arrow in our quiver, so to speak, to, to be able to help these sellers as well. And again, like there's, I don't want to talk too much about it because you know, we don't want to give away the secret sauce, but, uh, but it's all around not just understanding your advertising, but it's also understanding your, your business as a whole and making sure that we're able to recognize where you guys need, the sellers need help and, and solutions being able to make sure that they, they get the help that they need as well. So a lot to come here in, in this year and beyond. If someone wants to email support team uh, with questions, what's yeah. the best address to uh, approach? So my email, feel free to email me directly if you have, have questions as well. It's jmagee, so J-M-A-G-E-E -E at takeametrics.com. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, uh, you can just, I was going to, I realized I wasn't sharing my screen, I would type it into the address bar. But yeah, jmagee at takeametrics.com. Uh, feel free to reach out to me and, and we'll definitely make sure you guys are taken care of. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jason, and good luck in your business. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Take care.